Come on. Winner checker. All right, let me go to Platoon now. Platoon, Platoon. Are you ready for Platoon? Are you ready? Make some noise. Now, listen, 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 listen. Listen, listen now. It goes like this. It says, such an odoniferous human being. Secondly, what has come over you? Why are you doing this to us? You never admit to anything you do. How come? You spent half a million from the two million naira profit we got. Yet, you cannot give an account of what you did with the money. What kind of stupid extravagance was that? Extravagance, you say? Your father is the king of this kingdom, yet this kingdom was in such destitution before my father, his royal majesty, the one and only A.Z. Ojadike, stepped in and rescued it. If he didn't, where would you and your poor old man be? On the morning, your swallowing like a babu came as a contract from my father's kingdom, not as a birthday present from your father. <laughs> Charles. My beautiful name. You, you seem to develop a memory loss at will. Because you seem to have forgotten that this same contract came to this kingdom through my father's influence. So next time, when you open your silly mouth to talk to me, have that at the back of your mind, Charles. Rubbish. They didn't train you well. Don't even have one single respect. That's why I can't talk to anybody anyhow. But one day, I am going to squeeze that mouth so hard. I am going to squeeze it so hard. Very hard. Silly. Mm. I keep wondering the kind of man and husband Prince Charles is. This woman is literally controlling him. 
Is this how he's going to rule this kingdom when the king dies? Reforma, you talk a lot. Prince Charles is an astute leader, but his wife, reckless and mannerless. Isn't it obvious she sports milk and buttered child? You don't expect the well-nurtured and mannered prince to share in that lunacy. Hey! Come out there! Come out! Street urchins! So out of all the things there are to do in this palace, what you both do is just sit around and gossip. You like to poke nose into other people's businesses, right? Both of you. New! New! You both will kneel there, come rain or shine. Till nightfall, or whenever I feel like it. Idiots! Vagabonds! Dirty pigs! How dare you! Stay there till I come back. Animals! Idiots! Look at them! Vagabonds! Street auctions! Mannerless idiots! Welcome, my prince. Welcome, my prince. I guess this is Pamela's handwork, right? You guys are not talking again. All right. Rise and go back to your duty post. My prince, please. We can't. I said rise! My prince, please, we can't. <laughs> All right. We do not want any more trouble. She said we are going to be here till night falls. Please, I beg you. Let's leave it that way. Please. I see. I will see to that. What's wrong? Have you been at home? Of course I've been at home. I just came back now. I ran into a former and Adogo, kneeling down under the hot sun, sweating. For what? Why? <laughs> Who else? If not your, your Queen Elizabeth. Who else? Pamela nailed them down under the hot sun. Why? I don't know. Did you free them? I tried to free them. But they refused to be freed. They said she asked them to kneel till nightfall. What nonsense. I don't know. That's your son. <laughs> that was just a total madness. What was he expecting when he married about 35 women from 35 different tribes? I can imagine the kind of... Uh, what zone he has turned his house into. How do they even feed that five women? Plenty children. <laughs> I, somehow, Dad. Yeah. You see, King Gezu had 150 children and 300 grandchildren. Feeding wasn't an issue. I mean, he was 
He had wealth inestimable. <laughs> nah, this is just a total madness. <laughs> What's the problem? Who is chasing you? Talk now, who is chasing you? What is it? Who are you? How dare you budge into my palace in this manner? My sincere apologies, Your Majesty. Oh, Detective Charles. My prince, it's good to see you. What's going on? This is my wife. This woman here drives too recklessly. We need her license seized and her car impounded immediately. How dare you? Do you even know who you're talking I about? I don't give a freaky care about who the hell you are, woman. You ran over a child of seven years old. And you stand before me here to brag about your ID? Like I care. Now you listen to me. Oh my God. Would that have surfaced if we lost the poor boy? Pamela, you ran over someone again today? <laughs> Bravo. This has suddenly surged my interest over this case. She does this all the time, Your Majesty. I'm sorry she has to come with us. Mm. Detective. Your Majesty. The lady you want to take away to your station is the wife of the Crown Prince of this kingdom. The only daughter of the great and mighty King Ojadike. You do not want to incur the wrath of her father. <laughs> this sounds pretty good, Your Majesty, but nobody certainly is above the law. Not even the great king, Ojadike. Your Majesty, she has to come with us. Really? Excuse me, Your Majesty. Okay. Sean, sir. Yeah. Fine, sir. I'm sorry, sir. All right, sir. We'll do just that. Well, detective, I guess you want to take her away now, right? The CP just called her will stand down and then retrieve back immediately. I told you. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. Princess Pamela, this is certainly not the last straw. How dare you? Pamela! Don't you even dare! Come on, you don't you? Eh? Well, um, Detective. Your Majesty. In your best interest, like the CP said, you better stand down. We will get words across, and the little child in question will be adequately taken care of. Don't you mind, Josie? That is not even important. Hey! Not now, Pamela. I. I'm. I'm. Ch ch I'm so sorry about that. Please. I'm sorry for that hot slap. Okay? That's that was too hot. I'm, I'm so sorry about that. Well, that, that, why hey. do you. All... You too! I said, shut up! How can I go? I'm not putting a little more than a nose or you're slapping. Please! Please, what? Stop it! I tell you, Mama, I'm not attacking. You're going to ask. So, Mama, I'm going to ask. Bro, Princess Adaka, slapping people anyhow. What is this? Pamela, we need to talk about this. Did we have any leftovers, Charles? You running over a boy. Your reckless lifestyle. Are they all enough leftover? Judge and jury. I'm on a stand. 
Do you want to judge me? Has it ever occurred to you that you're a royalty? Hmm? And for that reason, you are... Charles, I already know where all this is headed. And as it stands, I'm in no mood for an uncut convo right now. I have my life to live. And so does 8 billion people on this Cosmo. So if you're planning on how to teach me to live my life, you better not. Pamela, the only reason you do all this is because my father refused to tell you how sport and unruly you can be. Well, your father is a bit wise. He knows that my father, the great king, or Jadike, will move heaven and earth just to make me happy. And your father also knows that both him and his kingdom will be nothing without my father. So Charles, please, enough. I've had too much for one day. Is the problem? Nem, are you still worried about this? I told you that your uncle has promised to Mama, help. Um Okafo makes this promise all the time. Oh, he never lifts a finger to help anyone. It just pains me that I have to drop out after all this. Namsi, even if your uncle does not help you, I'm certainly sure that you must go back to school. I will do my best. I know, Mama. That is why I've decided to put everything behind me and just help you at the booker until we have enough resources for me to go back. I thought you said you will look for a better job that will pay you. How much do we make from the booker? No, I don't think it's the best option for you now. Don't worry yourself. I haven't changed my plans of looking for a better job. But for now, I will assist you at the Buka. It's okay, my daughter. Everything will be fine. Trust me. Um, let me go to the market and buy some things. Maybe later you come to the shop and show me. No problem. Don't bother yourself. It's okay. Okay. Bye, eh? Daddy, see, you, you really need to give me a listen. Yeah, we need to talk. Charles, please. Dad, why do you keep postponing this conversation? Why? It's all right. Let me grant you audience this time. Because I really cannot comprehend what is so itchy about what you want to tell me. And you kept pestering me. Okay, all right. Uh, but on the face of it, I want to assume that uh, it has to do with the little big rings uh, from your wife. I mean, it has to do with you and your wife. That is not about me and my wife. It's about my wife. You cherish, pamper, and spoil your daughter-in-law so much that what is this all about? That you don't even find fault in anything she does. 
even when she's doing the worst. Charles, if you have something of inestimable value, you safeguard that thing as if it is your very life. Dad, I know it's all about your relationship, your friendship with Dr. DK, but... You don't know what this is all about. But let me tell you something. Do you know you are very selfish? All you think about is yourself. You don't care the toll that your actions take on others. Father Luke, I know Pamela's father has done immensely for this kingdom. But that does not mean that the whole world will stand still because of that. This girl keep doing some stupid and crazy things. And you never find fault in whatever she does. You keep siding her. Charles, it is not every relationship that you toy with. Your marriage to this woman marked the beginning of good things in this kingdom. So if it takes um, your accommodating some of her bickerings, uh, insignificant, uh, infinitesimal actions that are sometimes I agree um, repugnant, I mean, you just take it. Dad, do you have to call slapping a policeman and running over people on the road infinitesimal? Do you have to... to Enough. Enough of this. I don't want to hear anymore. to stay away from my issues. It will be. And I have told you to calm down. You don't resolve issues with violence. By the way, what do you think you can do to her? I want her to tell me who gave her the right to empty hot pot of pepper soup on Chineye. Yes. Ebube. Chineye is still alive. That's the most important thing. Eh? You should be learning how to calm down now. Stop telling me to calm down. Why won't I tell you to calm down? Stop telling me to calm you down. You need to calm down because things like this, you don't. You need to treat it with calmness. No, be because it's not you that he, she poured up pepper soup on. You are telling me to calm down. I know it's not me, but then just be calming down. I've warned you to stay away from this issue. What is going on here? Huh? My prince, your wife, Princess Pamela, has pretty more than she can chew today. Hey, hey, talk to me if you want to talk to me. Stop speaking about my wife in that manner. What happened? Uh, your wife, she emptied the plenty hey, pot. I did not ask you. Allow everybody to talk. Sorry. Okay. My prince, the princess emptied hot pot of pepper soup on China, yeah? What? She did that? Yes, my prince. Thank God she didn't die, but she sustained a lot of injuries. And she might also sustain more scars later. Where is Pamela? Where is she? She should be in her room. B. 
be careful. Okay, calm down, please. Come here. Not for what I'll just I'll just empty this food on your head. I'll just empty this pepper soup on your head, wicked Jezebel. How dare you? How dare you pour that hot, hot food on, on, on that poor girl? How dare you? What's the meaning? If not for her, I'll just empty it on your face now. Try it! Try it! Bastard! Try it! If you're man enough, try it! Try it! Do it! Hey, what is going Do on? Do it, Charles! What is going on here? Your Majesty. Charles, hit me! And now he's trying to pour this on me. Charles! Mm -hmm. How dare you? How dare you lay your hands on a woman? Daddy, no, that's a lie. Prince Charles here never hits a woman. Were you here? Were you here? Daddy, this lady here emptied a hot pepper soup on Chine. I don't know, Uncle. Hot pepper soup! Pamela. <laughs> You did what? Dad, if not that I rushed the poor girl to the hospital, she would have died by now. And I know definitely she's going to sustain a scar she would live to see all the days of her life. All in the name of testing her food. Dad, this lady here. Long time ago, I ate food that is this delicious. That was before I lost my mother. Yeah. Oh, so sorry about the loss of your mother. Hmm. It's okay. Thank you, ma'am. Mm. 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 Um, that's. I know what you want to say. I'm so sorry about that. I'm so sorry I doubted you, okay? Well, it won't happen again. No. <laughs> I didn't know that this, this was going to be this subnoxious. <laughs> now you know. <laughs> but that doesn't excuse what he did before. Mama, he said he's sorry. It's okay. I've had him. Sorry. <laughs> I'm good now. <laughs> um, I want you. Um, please, I want you to have this. So, what is this for? Are you, are you buying off my mother's book? No, no. <laughs> How can I buy you a five star? I want you to have this, okay, for wasting your time. I know you're supposed to have left by now. Have it. Okay? For you and your mother. Sir. Thank you very much. God bless you. It's okay. Thank you, sir. It's okay. You'll be good, eh? Okay. I'll see you. I'm hmm? very I'm happy. I'm very happy. Please come oh. back next time. Of course oh. I will. <laughs> I really do enjoy that stuff, you know, especially this last meet. <laughs> 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 Don't no, mind sorry. me, I'm just joking. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 um, let me see if you can tell us it. Mm -hmm. I like it. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, sir. <laughs> bye bye, sir. Mama, see what will that miss, Mama. See what will that miss. This is a big money. Hmm? My pocket are you at work? You have started my work already. Oh my god. Are you sure we can come to this place no, again to sell? <laughs> I pray he comes every day. Wait. 
Where have you been, Charles? I'm asking you a question. Where have you been? And can't you notice that I'm not talking to you? That should tell you to look for something else and do for yourself. Don't you dare me, Charles. Where are you coming from? You see, you've decided to make this life a living hell for people around you. And very soon, they will all leave you. Go look for comfort place where they will find peace of mind. <laughs> what a laugh, Charles. So you actually went seeking for comfort and peace of mind outside your matrimonial home, oh, right? Right. Charles. All you do is chase after little girls. That's too low for someone like you, don't you think? Oh, you think so? This madness of yours has taken a new turn. Chasing after little, little girls. That's really low for you, Charles. Mm, you wish. Anyway, we're supposed to go out on a date today, Charles. So you expect me to put a stressed face and go out with you after your Lucifer's attitude? Hmm? I am not going to do that. And listen, all I need now is a beautiful and unbroken rest and not your constant nagging. And you think um, having me here in this room, I will give you rest. I will allow you to actually rest in your dreams, Charles. Because trust me, the nagging just begun. Charles, answer me, where have you been? Where have you been, Charles? Charles, where have you been? I am talking to you, where have you been? Charles. Welcome, sir. <laughs> How are you, ma? I'm fine, thank you. Good to see you. Thank you, ma. <laughs> How is market going? It's going on well. I think God. Good. How are you? I think God. Uh, Your friend? Oh, uh, yes. Um, I sent her to buy something for us to use and make these games. So she will soon be back. Okay. I have food. Do I serve you or will you prefer to wait for her to come back? <laughs> I'll wait for her to come. Oh. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you once again. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, so how is your father and your brother? Okay. Oh, yes. The SSG called me, yes. Mm -hmm. He said the meeting was moved by just a day, so it should hold in two days' time. Uh, <laughs> you know, that is typical of the governor. Oh, yes. Well, uh, I don't know about that, but uh, we just keep our fingers crossed. You, you, <laughs> without a beautiful wife, you still want another. You. <laughs> it's all right, we'll talk before then. Bye. Ah, how are you? I'm fine, Dad. Yeah. Where is your brother? I think he stepped out. Hmm. 
I've been watching that young man lately. He's almost hardly at home. Really? What do you mean by really? I haven't noticed that. How would you notice when birds of the same feather flock together? Dad, I am lost here. Please bring me back. You're lost. It's all right. Um, let's talk about why you wanted to see me. Dad, I want to see you because I think you've not been talking to Pamela enough. How do you mean? She's still making things very difficult for my brother. And that may be the reason my brother hardly stays at home. Why are you contradicting yourself? You just said you are not aware that your brother is hardly at home. I never said I was. You said that yourself. And I believe kings don't lie. It's all right. I want to understand what you meant by Pamela making things difficult for your brother. You know, your mother and I had a great time while she was alive. Our marriage was great, even though she was not born of blue blood. Dad, that's where the problem lies. Pamela has tested wealth and power in her father's house. So succumbing to my brother's beatings will be very difficult for her. Dad, what is this rubbish you always say that, if not for her rich kingdom, that our kingdom is amount to nothing? I hate hearing that crap, Dad. Ah, come on. You hate it does not change it from being the truth. That is the truth. Dad, why do you always like taking sides in anything that consigns Pamela? Why? Azubike, he will not understand. Let me enlighten you. Okay? My age long relationship with her father is far weightier than your childish tantrums. Dad. What is that? By the way, why won't you remove your eyes and ears? from your brother's problems and family issues. As a matter of fact, it's time you got your own wife. It's time you got married so that you can supervise your own family. I mean, wh why do you keep preoccupying yourself with other people's problems? So that what you're trying to say in essence is that I should fold my hands and watch things go wrong in my brother's marriage without doing anything. Come on, Dad. We are family. Azubiki. Dad. Being family does not make you a sanctioned officer over your brother's problems or your brother's family. So, like I asked you, or because I didn't want to suggest, I'm actually telling you, go and look for your wife, marry, and supervise your family. Hmm? Leave your brother alone. All right, Dad, I've heard you. Good. I'll go and look for my own wife. Fantastic. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm upstairs, Dad. Good. Why do you need to eat this? 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 See, wait, wait first. My mom, my mom, they feel all right. Eh? See, just calm down. No, last, last, nobody will die. I what are you watch. playing now? Don't last long. No. <laughs> you are afraid that I'm going to win you. Last, last, nobody will die. If you too much, now slap, you go chop and shout. Very good. See, that's how you do it. How much you done to receive everything for balance? That's how you know. It is easy for you to say because you are not wearing the shoe like this. Let's see how I can start now. She don't be going. But leave it, leave it. Leave it, leave it. Leave it, leave it. Leave it, leave it. So you heard me calling your name, yet you refused to answer. Where's the dress I gave you to iron? Your Highness, I, I'm sorry, there's a little problem. 
little problem. Okay. I hope this little problem does not entail that something has happened to my dress. Because if it has, hey, I will kill you and bury you alongside your family. Go get me my dress, now. Um, sorry, my princess. Um, get my dress. Now you, wait there. Where do you think you're going to? Sorry, your majesty. I'm going to the home And where did those little demons go to? I don't, I don't know. Where, where? So I'm not a demon that everybody runs away from me, no, right? No, 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 your majesty, no. They, I think they went to go and get something inside. Funny enough, the dress doesn't even look stretched. Give it to me. Was this dress even ironed? Yes, your highness. I ironed this. Sorry. What's happening here? What do you think? This twerp bought my expensive dress. What? You incompetent fool. You mean you cannot iron a common dress without burning it? Are you mad? Your Majesty, just a mistake. Shut up there! With mistake! I'm sorry, sir. No, Justin, it was for the party. But, 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 Dad, this is nothing serious now. Why is she taking it as if it's something very serious? Nothing serious? My expensive dress is not serious to you? Your Majesty, did you hear him? Did you hear him, Your Majesty? My expensive dress was bought. And this is all that's to be done about it. It's all right. You know what? That's fine. Because my father must hear about this. This time, I will not let it go. Your Majesty, the party to the president has just been ruined. 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 Father! My Majesty, I will tell my father. This twept burnt my clothes. Majesty, I will tell my father. I will tell my father. This twept burnt my clothes. Will you shut up? Respect yourself. Sorry, Dad. Sorry, Dad. I will tell my father, this twept burnt my clothes. I will tell my father, this twept burnt my clothes. Twept! I will tell my father, this twept burnt my clothes. <laughs> George, give me that. What is it? Don't touch me, Charles. Don't you dare. Go back to wherever you're coming from. Is there anything wrong for me to ask you what is wrong with you? Where are you coming from, Charles? Where? I... Well, on the scheme of things, that's so inconsequential to what is making you cry. Go back to where you're coming from. Mm. Get out! Just leave! Get out! Whatever. And he leaves. Because I asked him to leave, he's leaving. Have I done? 
the person who cooks and feeds the palace have now been reduced to a hospital puppet. Oh. Wait. So the only thing your mind and your brain is telling you now is it just about food? See now, it just be, food? It will be. I've not had anything to eat since. Look at my eye. My eye is red. Eh? But wait, I've been meaning to ask you. Did you burn those clothes just to get back at her for what she did to Chile? For what now? You should know I'm not petty. It was only a mistake. I believe you. Hmm. I, I, I don't care whether you believe it or not. I've told you it was only a mistake. But you should have told her that ironing clothes is not your thing. Who? Oh. Wait, no. that one? Does she ever take no for an answer? Eh? But let me tell you something. One thing is certain. You see that lady? Eh? I must surely deal with her. I swear by my ancestors. It will be. Do not start to swear over the things you cannot do. Me, it will be. See, let me tell you. Let me tell you something. Do you know even the king fears her? Oh. That's why she keeps thinking that the world and everything in it revolves around her. I don't know even I don't even know what she's feeling like. Queen Eliza or what? See, yeah? all I can like tell you is uh, violence is not a way to solve this issue. Uh, violence? Is it your violence? Is it not my violence? Even if it's not my violence, just violence is not the way out. Ndukwe, leave it for me. It's my violence, it's not yours. Oh, your violence, your violence now. Violence is. Mind you that this is not your father's house. If you don't want to hear any voice, go inside your husband's room. I wasn't talking to you, okay? From mental ill, medicalous. Yes. Oh, I am from... suffering from mental illness, right? Medicalous. Yes. Really? Yes. You want to see a mental woman? Yes. Have you ever seen a mad woman? Yes. You, you're so lucky that there's no more time I'll show you how mental I am. Pamela! You want to come fight me? Show me that you're a man. You think it's by shouting that makes you a man? You are no man. You're just a mad boy. Come on out, boy. Rubbish. Let me see any one of you anytime come here and shout to stop in my peace. Then you see what I'll do to you people. Cockroaches. Idiots. Insolent idiots. I don't know where they got you from. Ah! Who is that now, eh? Do you want to pull down the gates? <laughs> Madam, what is it? Uh -uh. Madam, wait now. Wait. Why did you open the gate for this mad woman? Why? She was just running inside the room. She, she, she didn't even allow me to talk with her. I am not a mad woman. I am the mother of the maid you poured a hot pot of soup on. My daughter has been cooking for the king and this royal house. And never has she been treated this way before. 
So why are you here ranting? Ranting like a bad dog. Why? I am here so that you can. Kill me! Madam, don't you dare! If you try it, I will deal with you. You feel my wrath. Ungazi! Oh, please. No one is killing anybody. Chineye is fine. And the royal household takes full responsibility for what happened. Please, stop crying. Your Majesty, this lady needs to be told that my daughter is not a stranger in this palace. She has been cooking in this palace before she was married into this royal home. <laughs> mama, 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 please, mama, mama, please, mama, please calm down. Just wipe your tears. You know, my father here will not allow anyone to maltreat your daughter in this palace. Please, wipe your tears. It will never happen again, okay? Please, please, I beg you, wipe your tears. It will never happen again. Swallow me, swallow me. I'm not here for any apology. I just came to take my daughter home. This palace is no longer safe for her. Take her! No, 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 Mama, please. Don't take Chinaye away. On behalf of all the hungry staff in this palace, I beg you, if you take her away, hunger and starvation will finish all of us. Will you shut your mouth? What is wrong with you? Make like a ghost and disappear from this place. Get out! Get out! And to you, crying nightingale, you know what? I do not care. If your daughter has been cooking for five generations before I got here, I do not care. If she wants to continue living in this palace, then she has to abide by my rules. By whose order? Mine. And who the hell are you? Princess Pamela, the only daughter of the great and mighty King Ojadike. And so what? And so fucking what? Don't you dare! Don't you? Where is she? Chinganye, get your things. Come and meet your mad woman of a mother and get out of this place. Take your daughter and leave. Because if. We left alone. Because Pamela here has actually, actually pushed him beyond the limit. And no one that has been pushed like that will not, that will not react. Charles, are you by any means suggesting that we should reward that? Imp, I guess that was the word he used on him for insulting royalty. Is that what you're saying? Father, you know I cannot do a thing like that. And that is not even the point. What the hell actually is the point? You should not disrespect the king with your wholesome choice of words and your mannerless vulgarity. Before the gods we appear in skate and browse. You know what that means? Your coconut will be so much made of Mpampaka via cataclysm. Mind the way you talk in this palace. My friend, sit down, both of you. Sit down. Now. <laughs> <laughs>